What's up guys? Welcome back to Full Throttle RC. Today we're back with some micro monster truck action. In a couple of the videos I made on this truck so far, we talked about the body and how the diecast body looks great, but you can tell it's kind of bouncy. I'll throw some footage of it up here. You can tell it kind of limits the truck. It's heavy. The suspension really isn't made to handle that much weight. It would be a lot better if we had a lighter body on here. One of my problems is I really like the son of a digger look. I like the way the truck came out. I like the stance of it, the way it looks, but I do want it to perform a little better. I looked at a bunch of options from picking up one of the plastic models from Walmart and getting the body, but I also wanted to keep the cost down. I looked all over the web for a 3D model of this body that I could modify for 3D printing and couldn't find anything. So I took my time and went through and designed one myself. Now, it's definitely not the best because I'm brand new to this software that I had to use, but I designed it in two halves so it was easy to print and printed it up myself. I printed this in PETG. That way it'll be easier to sand in PLA. It's purple because that's the color of the PETG I had. It looks like I got the scale pretty close and the details are actually quite nice. I got the grill in there, the headlights, and I'm thinking about actually modifying this, drilling some holes and putting in some blue LEDs in there to finish off the look. So today for a little quick video, we're going to glue these two halves together and get it actually mounted on the truck. So this original body, I had put Velcro underneath. You can see I actually had to layer it to make it fit. And I'm thinking we might have to do the same thing here and add some layers of plastic here to make it fit. I wanted to actually model that into the body so it would print, but that was kind of hard to take dimensions on. I figured it would be easier to just glue. So I'm gonna set the camera up so I can get some nicer shots and we'll glue this together. So, like I said, this was my very first time modeling a full body like this to 3D print. So, there's a couple of things I probably should have done differently that I didn't do. For one, you can see the little crack here. This isn't a big deal, but there definitely wasn't enough material right here at the end of the window. It'll glue up though, and we shouldn't really see that. The other thing is, I probably should have put some kind of registration marks in these sides. That way when I put some glue on there, I could have just lined those up, pushed them together, and held them tight. Instead, since I don't have that, I'm gonna actually tape it together. Hopefully the seams will line up nicely, but I do still have to sand it after, so if they aren't perfect, we'll be able to smooth them out with sanding. I am just using CA glue for this, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, my plan is kind of to make a little hinge, I guess. So just like that, and now I can run a little bead of glue along the side here and put it together. And then I'll actually run some tape along the edges as well here. I'm also gonna run a bead of glue on the inside here, and I'll probably end up strengthening this up with some styrene strips or something. With that glue set, we can now get an idea of the size of the body compared to the original. It is a little bit narrower, not too, too much, but just a tad. I think the length is just about perfect, which looks like it is. The height is nice. And overall, body seems to fit well on the truck. So I'm pretty happy with that overall. Like I said, I do want to strengthen this joint up a little bit. I'm sure you've seen in past videos that the body can uh, get knocked off. So I don't want it to come in too. I got a couple of these little scrap pieces of styrene here. I'm just going to go in and glue them, kind of stitching the seam together. So 
so now to get the body mounted originally i was thinking i was gonna have to go in and add some supports here on the inside to reach this but i actually forgot that i made these mounts adjustable so i should be able to unscrew this and just lift it up just a tad and it should reach up to the body so after looking at it for a bit i uh, noticed something that i probably should have noticed before i printed it but saw it now and i uh, kind of fixed it for now i guess the body should have been a little wider in the front here you could actually see it a little on the old body where the front shocks rub the inside maybe a little hard to see but it rubbed some of the paint off there so when i put it where i wanted it originally or where i thought it should go it wouldn't sit all the way down like it should i moved up this body post originally but i moved it back down now i spaced up the body with some styrene here and then put the velcro on did the same thing in the back the velcro will probably come back off and be replaced when i paint the body but this was just to get it mounted on and just like that it actually fits pretty well i'm pretty happy with that the back end fits well it feels pretty tight i can lift up the truck just from the body and it's definitely a lot lighter feels more like it should now obviously i got a good little bit of sanding and painting to do and i need to figure out how i'm gonna get these decals on the side i'm thinking about printing them myself but i need to do a little more research on that this was probably a little bit of a shorter video this week i apologize for that with the holidays it's been kind of crazy just getting some time today to get this body mounted hopefully soon you'll see the process of sanding and painting this body and getting some decals put on and finished off but for my first try at modeling a body for 3d printing i'm pretty happy with it let me know what you think in the comments below i can't wait to see how the truck performs with this body but i'm not gonna try it out just yet i want it painted and finished first make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video if you're enjoying the content on the channel subscribe if you haven't already make sure to click on that bell to get notified when i upload new videos and as always thanks again for watching peace